before I start, before I start, um, uh, I just wanted to just just pass on my my, my condolences to the Claire family, the loss of Dr. Pat Claire, and uh, you know just just the 40 years of dedication, you know his sons, their continued dedication to the university. I believe our second academic All-American, and, and that was a that was a heavy heart that we when we learned of that news this week. But a life well lived and a legacy well lived. And I want to say thank you to and Dominic and Sue for coming back and, you know, in his own quiet way, didn't want to give a big speech, just wanted to meet the fellows and answer questions. And, uh, you know, it's kind of funny. He said a couple things I say all the time, and I looked at Deshaun, and Deshaun said, yeah, Coach, he just, he just when he, and he says it, it just kind of hits different. I <laughs> said, thanks, Deshaun. <laughs> but uh, Desh, uh, and Dominic and his family, just uh, so, so, so blessed that they were there. And then finally about the game, um, you know, that was a close win. Um, you know, in many ways, it was a tough, tough day. Um, credit to Rutgers, credit to Greg Schiano. You know, they, they, they did a ton of things against us, but uh, we didn't turn the ball over but once. We won the turnover battle, um, and I thought it was as great a, a great a defensive performance as I've been around. Um, six plays inside the two. Um, you know, just, uh, just whereas maybe two weeks ago in Illinois, we were kind of looking at the clock, worried are we going to win. I thought this game, this day, the guys just wanted to keep going out there and playing. And... Uh, They'd have kept playing another series if we let them. So proud of the guys, proud of the team, team win. And uh, Boomshini, I thought, was a, an all-star again today. So with that, I'll answer your questions. Coach, were you expecting that many big plays, impact plays in the defense as you saw, especially in the second half? You know, um, we, we knew it was going to be a challenge. We talked a lot about the run game, and we knew number zero was quite a player. Now they one of their wideouts strong was down. Um, and we knew Cali Bennis, how good of a player he is, because he beat us last year at Minnesota. Same type of game, right? 14-3, whatever it was, he makes the play down the stretch, taking two minutes. So it was like almost like, you know, what do they call Groundhog Day? It was almost Groundhog Day. He gets the ball back, he's going to go down there and score. Um, but our defense practiced harder this week than they have probably in two years here, you know. Um, and I think that, you know, what, what they put in came out kind of when, when the game started. And it was a lot of different guys. We played a lot of different guys, really adverse situations, and really a lot of third and fourth down stops, which was critical. What did you guys adjust about your run defense? They had 70 rushing yards in the first quarter, and then I don't think they got, they, I think they got the 78 for the game. So what did you guys do Yeah, I, I think it was really kind of two things. I think they played the first quarter into the wind, so they really ran it a ton into the wind. The wind was really a factor. Like, people won't see that on TV, but that was really, really a factor. And then maybe not as much in the second half, but certainly in the first half. And then, then they had the wind in the second quarter, so they threw it a little bit more. And I thought the first, the, if you go back to the first half, really a lot of those plays were just missed tackles. You know, Giff comes off the edge, he's going to hit, hit him in the backfield, just missed the tackle, right? They had one that starts right, comes all the way back, winds back, missed the tackle. So it wasn't like, oh, they've got us on this scheme. It's so, we're so grateful to have the iPads now because you can kind of look at it and be like, it's not a scheme thing. We're just missing tackles. You know, they had the one third and 22 after the sack, and they checked it down, and, you know, he, he made a guy miss and got it to fourth and three. So um, I think it was more that, uh, to be honest with you. I mean, and... Uh, you know, we started playing some man. We started. We played some bigger guys. Like Tony's a three-three-five guy, but he was playing some five down with two jacks today. I was really proud of him. <laughs> that was like, uh, that was like, uh, you know, him leaving the family almost. But uh, he did what we needed to do, and um, and we played some three-man rush. You know, some of the, some three-two stuff. So he had three different personnel groupings out there, and then I, you know, I thought we won third down and one fourth down. That was my key for the defense today. With this game, was I said the defense had to win third down. Rutgers gets into a lot of third downs. If we won them. We'd get off the field. If they stayed on the field, they would wear us down, and, and that was, you know, what we were trying to avoid. What did you um, see from Brian Bushy today? Obviously, he went down with that injury. I mean, were you worried that he was out of the game? Then, then you call him for a fake punt and probably won the game with that last punt for you guys. There. Yeah, I mean, he, he was great. I mean, um, you know, obviously, he got he get, got hit hard, and uh, we knew we were going to call that fake punt, and really almost called it the first time, and then almost called it at the five yard, the one at the five when they, you know, when they, when they blocked it. You know, they were just. They were bringing 10 guys, and there was no one covering them. And then finally we called it the third time. But I just, you know, Brian, you know, Brian, what we thought was the unsung hero last week, and I'd say he's the unsung hero this week. And, um, you know, he did a great job on the last one. We were asking him the one-step punt versus the all-out max block, and he saw them drop out, and so he slowed down. He took three steps, and he just boomed that kick, you know. And we took the ball today. Um, wanting to have the wind in the fourth quarter and make them go into the wind in the fourth quarter. That's why we took the ball. And I thought that ball got up in the wind and it spiraled and spiraled and spiraled around. I mean, that was, that, you know, had, had that young man tried to catch it, it might have, you know, it would have been a tough catch, I'll just say that. So, um, yeah, I'm probably really proud of Brian. He showed the, you know, kind of showed the heart of a line out there. Did he, did, did he almost have to, I mean, it looked like he was hurt 
fairly bad after the first first block. Did he, um, how close was he to you were warming up Camden Cook? Like how close was Brian to coming out? Yeah, you know, um, I got out there and I was. I mean, uh, he wasn't moving, so I was concerned, obviously. And he was like, "I'm, I'm going to be okay. I'm going to be okay. It's just my, you know, I forget it was my back hip." And got to the side and I said, "Hey, can you just throw the fake punt for me?" And he was like, "Yes, I can throw the fake punt." And uh, then we had Johnny Hall kick off, and uh, you know. I said, well, you know, can you throw it into the wind? Just, you know, and he was like, yeah, I can throw it in the wind. So he was, he was just locked in. You know, I think it's, he's the guy who's burned the boats in his brain. He's going to do whatever it takes. And uh, medically, he was fine. It just, you know, I think he just took a big hit and was hurt, you know, just felt it. Matt, um, the goal line stand, they had six cracks after that block punt. Uh, how impressive was that and how important was that to the, to the grand scheme? The yeah, I think, um, I think the thing that our guys are learning is when you have some adversity, um, it's an opportunity for you to rise up and do something special. You know, I think we're getting past the point of wanting things to be easy, <laughs> hoping the other team doesn't play well, and just wanting to go out and play well ourselves. And so that's, that's, the, that's, the, that's the message in this building. Hey, don't want it to be easy. Go out there and play. And I thought um, they took the field. They wanted to get out there. You know, we, we took the PI, and, um, you know, they just they played hard. I mean, Tony had a little twist stunt. He, he ran twice, and uh, – uh, Nash came around one. I, I forget. I don't want to give, not give credit to somebody, but they just they, you know they made big hits and kind of uh, knocked it out of there, and then um, um, then just defended the fourth down play. So I mean, just, just some really great stuff. And you know, it was a tough, tough day in the second half on offense, right? And really on third down, but we did come out and hit that ball to Jay Lloyd, which kind of opened the field up a little bit. And so then we were able to you know able to at least you know kind of get out of there. Um, and I, I might have the drives messed up, so you have to forgive me that things go fast for me in the game, but. But um, I thought the defense, you know, they, they didn't really care what happened today. They were, they were just going to keep playing. What lessons do you think Dylan can take out of the day to day when they were coming after him and, and you know, he had some moments he threw like that? Um, you know, I think, uh, I think this is all part of the continuum of, 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 of learning and growing. And then you, you go back and you just say to yourself, you know, what, what was it? You know, what bothered me? But at the end of the day, you know, let's make sure, at least for me, I have to make sure you know, we weren't high flying today on offense. You know, we weren't scoring. You know, we scored 14 in the first in the first half, which was good because they've had a lead in pretty much every game, right? The whole key against the, a team like this is you got to get the lead and make them not play. You know, had we had they been up 14 nothing, we would have seen 70 runs, right? And so, we did get the lead, and so that that's what we needed from the offense. Um, but uh, the, the key is that we didn't. You know, we protected the ball. You know, we had the one interception on the RPO, but after that, even as he's taking those sacks. Um, you know, he's, he's at least protecting the football and, and, and we're punting the ball away. So, um, you know, every week, last week it was the field goal, this week it was the punt, this week it was a couple sacks. There's a lot of things we have to improve upon in all areas. Uh, kind of as we fix one thing, something else pops up. But, you know, that was, that was a day for the offense, as I said, to them just in there just now. They were having to draw new things up. And Greg Shawn is one of the greatest defensive coaches uh, that, 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 that there is. And he had, he had stuff out there that was really confusing. He had Mike linebackers playing D-line and guys were trying to figure it out. So, um, we'll get better from it. With the offense, you had several, you know, third down, fourth down, short yardage tries, brought in extra linemen, leaving Tritt. I mean, just what did you like about those looks and the way the guys executed? Yeah, well, we know Mike is a big, powerful guy. You know, he's been practicing with us. And, and so we, we um, you know, we, uh, uh, we were going to take some you – know, we were here to win today. You know I mean? It was fourth and one on our own 30, whatever it was on the first drive. We, you know, we, we, ran, we ran power. We ran fourth and one on the goal line. We knew we thought he would be a good matchup for us. Him knocking the knocking the edge back. We really like Barrett Leventritt. I think he's a guy that's getting better and better and better for us. Even the one backed up, you know, we hit that run. I think the big you know today was a day of like we run the fake punt, and this is not negative. It's just we run the fake punt, and they just tackle us, and it's like a, oh geez, man, the returner got us. Or we hit that power, and the safety comes across and gets us late. Like you know, kind of needed to step out of one and make that a twenty-one nothing game, but. Um, yeah, it was good to get Mike involved in the game, and, and uh, you know this will be a tape that we can learn a lot from as we heal this week. You know, it's been a, been a tough ride here, right? So, we'll, uh, in terms of six, you know, not, not many teams in Big Ten I don't think have done six straight games. Maybe so maybe a couple have. A lot of have had a bye, so I'm glad we have a bye, and we'll see if we can get better. You came in and mentioned uh, that Kaliak Manis had you guys in this spot a year ago and went down and and won the game. Was that? In any way on your mind when you were out there, or was it just something that came in when you when you stepped up to the podium? No, no. Uh, well, I mean, at the end of the day, like I mean, we knew that, 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 that as I try to orchestrate how the game could go, I always talk about how, how I wanted to go, and then hey, the things that could happen. And one of the things for me was like, hey, um, if, it, if if it turns into a throw game, like how are we going to play it, right? And, and they've shown excellent protection. You know, they they double chip both edges and they try to protect. And um, we played a lot of man early, and then. Late in the game, as we had the lead, we went to you know a little bit more zone after after they you know hit those two deep balls in the third to last drive. Uh, but no, when I'm out there, I'm just my, my mind's just thinking, right? I'm thinking, but you know, I, I just know he's a good player, and, and so you know when you played against someone, you've seen what they can do. 
Um, but I was, you know, happy again, happy that it worked out where they were throwing into the wind. And I thought, you know, our pass rush really showed up. It was, it was warm there early on. This is the first season you guys have switched sidelines. Did you feel the advantage of being in the shade for the first half? Yeah, well, I don't. I mean, I think if I'd have sat on the other side, you know, I, I might have felt worse. You know, I don't know that I noticed. You know, I, other than it never felt super hot to me. I mean, I, I think I was more taken with the wind. I don't know if I've ever been a part of a day that's nine, uh, ninety-five and that windy, especially early on, and then gusting. And and so um, even in pregame, the balls were kind of flying around a little bit. Um, you, know, you you remember now? I think they missed a field goal earlier, correct? Right? Is, am I right on that? Right. So so um, you know, just thought the wind would be a, a big deal today. It, it was unique in that the wind came out of the south. It was going. It was going south to north in pregame, and then when we came out for the kick, it was going north to south. And Sue's Dr. Elsa does a great job. She talks, and they told us it was going to go. It was going to flip as the day went on. And so they they actually gave us the win for the first quarter. And so you know, I thought we did a good job early on in the game. Um, but uh, you know, it was just a lot, a lot of different factors out there. But it, it wasn't too hot for us. And again, we played a lot of guys, uh, knowing that we wanted to be fresh in the fourth. Would you what kind of value is it to win? Uh, one score game. I know. I know. Last week was a very close game, but this is a one score game. It's proved that your guys that they can do this. Yeah, I, I don't even think. I, I respectfully, I don't even think it's like even like, hey, you can do this. I think it's more like, how do you do this? And how do you do it is, you don't start looking at the scoreboard and the clock, hoping that it runs down. You play. <laughs> you know, I'm like, just go play. And so even at the end, like, you know, they they got that first down on fourth down, and like you didn't see our whole, you didn't see our group look dejected. You didn't see them. They, the defense just lined back up and played again. And uh, you know, Bushini make like, you need some guys to make some plays, right? Bushini makes that punt. Like that punt's amazing in that in that condition. So, um, I think it's uh, I think it's it's just the how. The how is getting to those moments and having your heart rate not rise up, just continuing to play, um, you know, and just trying to make one more play than they make. So are you surprised they didn't go after that that last punt of yours, and they just let him punt? Um, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I think I think I think the thought was, hey, we're, we're one stepping it. Hey, let's go ahead and get it. You know, let's get it out and then return it. But you know, um, I'm glad they didn't. I didn't know. That was my concern was them blocking it. You know, I mean, uh, again, and it's all a simple thing. It's, it's some veteran guys. You know, a guy. You know, they're, again, they're bringing one more than we can block, right? And so uh, they're 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 not covering anybody. They're coming after you. And so if I could go back, man, I'd have called that punt fake earlier. You know, because it would have it would have it would have. Um, you know, you sit there. You know, you're sitting there all week. And you're saying to yourself. Man, I bet you they change. I bet you they're not going to do it this week. I bet you they change. And so when you get out there and see it, you're like, oh, okay. And then I should have done it on the five-yard line. So, But I think doing it, even though no points came out of it, I thought the guys on the sideline were energized. Like, hey, coach is with us. You know, Coach Foley's with us. You know, Ed, Ed designed it. When I say I called it, like Ed wants to call it every time. It's just me being like, all right, as the game manager, okay, let's do it, Ed. So it was a big-time call, and it worked out. It flipped the field. Um, and maybe that slowed them down later on in that last drive. What coach, I'm James Williams. I'm sorry. James Williams, what kind of boost did he give you? I mean, he's making plays. Talk about guys making plays. There's, there's yeah. right there. I think James is a guy that's practicing. You know, he's trying to get better. He's, he's doing really well in school. He's growing in every facet of his life. I'm very proud of him. And, uh, you know, he practices really hard. And as a result, you know, he plays really hard. This was a week that we did a lot of stuff with big people. So he, there, was time, there, was reps, there was reps this week where him and Kai and those guys were going over the scout team and giving the offense a look. No agenda, no egos, uh, just trying to get better at their craft. And then, Again, you know, because we took the ball early and because we were able to get a little bit of a lead, now you're able to pass rush at the end of the game and it kind of changed everything. Thank you. Anybody else? Thank you. All right, thanks, guys.